to this day, you'll still see crazy t-shirts in China with yeah. just ridiculous English on them. And by and large, even if the person understands what it says, they mm -hmm. haven't even read it. Right. And Vivi was trying to explain this to me. She goes, no one looks at your t-shirt. Nobody reads your t-shirt. It doesn't matter what's on your t-shirt. And that's why people are like, why don't they look it up? What do they not know that's on their shirt? People don't care what's on your shirt. They're not looking, right? Mm -hmm. They legitimately don't look. If you're a Chinese person, they don't care. Nobody's paying attention to you. It's a low trust society thing. Yeah, Strangers are meaningless. I guess so, but also you have to understand that if a, there's a foreigner walking around with Chinese I characters... I did not say foreigner, I said Chinese No, I, I said, yeah, if there's yeah. a foreigner yeah, walking sure, around sure. with... That's if, if like you or me, mm. here in the States or in any other country, walking around with Chinese characters on mm -hmm. our t-shirt, how many people know what they say? No one. No one. So it, it makes sense. normally just says something crap like rice or something. For and, sure. And they think it looks cool. Here at China Fact Chasers, we're proud to use and tell you about Surfshark VPN. Think of a VPN as an extra layer of security over your internet connection. When you connect to the internet, theoretically everything you do is out there in the open for all to see. But with Surfshark VPN, when you're connected, all of that internet traffic is protected. You can use a VPN for other things too. For example, you can get discounts online by changing servers to other countries. And you can also see different shows and movies on Netflix and other streaming services. It's super easy to use and it gives you the peace of mind that you're protected when you're online. Use the VPN we use and get Surfshark. For a limited time, get an exclusive Surfshark Black Friday deal. Go to surfshark.deals forward slash fact chasers to get up to six additional months for free. That's surfshark.deals slash fact chasers and use the code fact chasers to protect your online privacy today. These are just some of the fun ones. Um, I took this while I was walking to work near where I used to live in Shenzhen. And it says on the back of this uh, woman's t-shirt, I'm the one you got to blow to get a drink around here. <laughs> I, you know what I can tell? You know, we can actually give insight. Okay. This one, I have a feeling was on some like, tr like 4XL like tank top for a man. Right, but in the factory, they just took the print or whatever and sure. copied it over for domestic clothes. Yeah, so, um, you know, I had to snap that. Now, this one actually was in Hong Kong. There's a, what's that? Sai Kong is the place where all the foreigners live and yeah. stuff, right? So I was there. Um, I lived there for a little while. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I was there getting a drink at a bar and I went to the bathroom. They've got public bathrooms in the parks there. Mm -hmm. Very nice. And it said uh, female toilet. And right underneath it is a sign that says no dogs allowed, <laughs> <laughs> which, you know, obviously it just means don't bring your pets. If you read the Chinese, it actually says don't bring your pets in mm -hmm. with you. Um, but just female toilet, no dogs allowed, you know. It's a good placement. <laughs> really good placement, Very good guys. placement, yeah. Okay, anyway, um, what do we got next? Moving on to the next one, guys. Now this, I used to see this all the time walking around Shenzhen. You'd see these vending machines and it says life jacket vending machine. <laughs> and I was like, what the hell is this? Especially when I first got there because I couldn't read Chinese. Right. Basically, they're condom vending machines. Yes. Okay. But the English translation was life jacket vending well, machine. Well, I mean, the first two characters, this is Anquan, which means yeah. safety. So well, obviously, when you put yeah. those together, it was a Baidu translator, some garbage. Yeah. Well, I mean, they call a, a condom like a, a bintao, which yeah. basically means a, uh, a disease cover jacket. Or jacket. No, no. <laughs> and uh, antren, 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 antren No, yeah. not yeah. Antren Do they call it antren dizer or antren tao? I or think it's antren tao. Anyway, I don't right. have a whole lot of kind of experience. I'll be totally sure, honest with but you. Uh, I'm just telling you that uh, yeah, that's white tao. People call yeah. white tao uh, uh, antren yeah. tao. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, definitely called an antren tao as well. So that's a vending machine for condoms. Says life jacket vending machine. So I thought that was pretty hilarious. I mean, in a way. Yeah, in a way. So. No. <laughs> All right. So this is, uh, I mean, we've, we've talked about this before. The reason why I want to bring it up is to the following picture. But this set basically is toothpaste that you'll find in China, yeah. uh, around Asia, and specifically in China. Yeah, it's, it's the lower end China. brand. Yeah. Both of us used to use, use it. Use it all the time. Uh, it's called Heiren Yagao. And Heiren Yagao is, means black man toothpaste, like black yeah. person toothpaste. And incredibly racist obviously like in, in modern times <laughs> it's not right? as racist as what because the english name now is darley yeah it used to be darky it used to be called darky yeah. toothpaste it that's when it was called, really racist yeah it was called darky toothpaste but they never changed the chinese name which is hey yeah. Yaga, just yeah. black man toothpaste <laughs> i know now the reason it being is that chinese people think that black people have very white teeth because yeah. of the, the very good the, teeth what's it called 
the just the contrast. It's the contrast. Yeah. That's what I meant to say. And um, there's all kinds of jokes, and you'll hear that all the time in China. Mm. Um, something that might shock a lot of black people when they go to China when they yeah. see hair and yaga, black yeah. man toothpaste. But you found in Taiwan of all yeah, places. Yeah, I was in Taiwan. I was in a in a hotel, and you know you get those little. I oh, never mind this crap. Your hands T-shirt, which is hilarious as mm -hmm. well. That I didn't take, by the way. Mm. I found that they had white man toothpaste, wow. which is Byron Yaga, yeah, so, which is like a knockoff of black man toothpaste. Which is funny. Of all places in Taiwan, to get a yeah. knockoff of black man toothpaste, yeah, you get white, white man, man toothpaste. toothpaste. Now, to me, the whole reason that they were going for that contrast thing is that, okay, if you have darker skin, your teeth will look whiter. Mm -hmm. Taiwan kind of threw that out the window, that yeah, logic that there. White and man toothpaste. There's no contrast left mm. there, guys. Yeah, exactly. What, what kind of computer are you rocking back there? That was a, an Intel Atom, you know, one of those oh, yeah. netbooks when they were still new. This is sure. a long time ago, dude. And anyway, the reason we brought these up is we saw a couple new ones pop up on the internet. We're like, oh, you still had those pictures on yeah, Facebook. Yeah, it's always good because you can come across you can come across these new ones. Oh yeah, you can yeah, come across. Sure. But these ones that I actually sure. took myself mm. is more to it because I was there. So here we have the eight eleven and the eight twelve. It's awesome. Better than seven eleven. Yeah, exactly. That was pretty hilarious. You get, you get a little more. I wonder if eight twelve is better than eight eleven. Well, I'll tell you what, you know, the H11, when I took that photo, the the woman came running out the like out of there like, don't, don't yeah. photo, don't photo. You they know, know. Like, the funny thing is people say, oh, they don't know. What no. are you talking about? They don't know. They obviously consciously <laughs> made that. Absolutely. And then 812. Come on. <laughs> 812 is awesome. And you know, the thing is, you, you saw this less and less, okay? Because yeah. start, especially for big brand names, yeah. when they open up in China, if a big brand name that that isn't in China, then mm. it's free game. You can do whatever you yeah, want. Yeah, you can make the fakest McDonald's ever before Canary McDonald's boy. opens. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but if McDonald's actually opens, then suddenly yeah. it's uh, it's a different ballgame. Uh, You've well, got to be careful. You go to the country, so you'll still see fake oh, McDonald's. Oh, yeah, yeah. But Dong the... I went to Dongle King, dude. Yeah. Dongle King had the Burger King logo, and it said Dongle in the middle of the burger instead yeah. of Burger King. Yeah. And I went there, and actually they asked us to film a commercial when we were there for it. But they didn't even sell burgers. They just sold, like, normal Chinese food. I know, it's very, very funny. <laughs> the thing is, these photos were taken in Shenzhen, and that's sure. a first-tier city. So that's the only other city with a stock market in China. Yeah, yeah. It's right top of the pop. So right. if you can still see this in the big cities, yeah, it means they don't take it, it that yeah, seriously. Sure. You know? um, okay, so, yeah, we got 811 and 812. What else we got? <clears throat> uh, oh, yeah. I saw these stickers everywhere, mm. so I snapped this off. This was on the I back still don't of a. Get it. It's on the back of a Mian Bao sure. which is a little sure, bread I mean, van. Yes. <laughs> it's it's basically a little delivery van, and it has like a turkey, and it says, "Hey, don't kick my bottom." <laughs> which I, I guess get it. I guess it's kind of like don't bump into me or whatever. Yeah, you I know? guess that makes sense. Why is it a turkey? They don't I, even have turkeys in China. No, I, I really don't know. But a, I little, thought... a little factoid. Actually, factoid means it's not true. A little fact. Okay. They do raise turkeys in Taiwan. Okay. Now, this is a, a new one off the network. Uh, Richland it's Bombers Track and Field Special Olympics. It says... I know, it's e e a, a special. A special they even Olympics. screwed up the Special Olympics. thought the irony that was That makes it there. legitimate, though. It does. It you does. Know, it's Someone like, with learning disability. Yeah, probably wrote that down. Right, yeah. the, they had the yeah. Richland <laughs> Bomber. Uh, this is a yeah. great one. I like this one. I took this in Huajian Bay, mm. which I think everybody knows is the Silicon Valley of China. And it's mm. one of those... You know, this was right. This I took this picture circa 2007, I guess. Sure. So it's a long time ago. They were still building uh, a lot there. And I just love the fact that it's nice, perfect space. Yes. So the word perfect, which is certainly be, is not yeah. perfect. And it's... I just love the stock <laughs> photo, white guys. Yeah. Like exactly. at a business meeting from like 1997. Yeah. That's my favorite thing. They love... They, you'll find this kind of stuff all over the place, especially for like real estate development yeah. companies. Mm -hmm. On the billboards, it'll be like some random stock white people photo. Yeah, it's pretty funny. Like living in that development, apparently. Uh, and this is probably my favorite. And this is literally the first week I was in China. Yeah. Uh, in Dongmen, you have all those stores, all those buildings that just have random clothes. You mm -hmm. know what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. About, They're right? all over China. So I went up to this one. It's on a mannequin outside a store. You can see the woman try to stop me from taking a photo. Yeah. It says Snoopy. Uh, it's whatever. Copyright Disney. Yeah. <laughs> wait, <laughs> wait, Snoopy's not Disney. Pretty sure it's not. No. Anyway. It's peanuts. Right. And it says, don't break my fucking Beep. nuts. I beeped it. Yeah, okay. Yeah. In lovely cursive writing. Now, that's the kind of thing you'd give to a kid, right? Of course. It's Snoopy, right? But it's... These kind of shops are where I always used to get my Chinglish t-shirts. Yeah. I thought They're it was so just funny. funny. That's still probably my favorite, just because it's so random. That's a good one. Yeah. Okay. And that's then, a good one. <laughs> I went to a, a summer camp in Guangzhou, okay? Mm. Also, this was the end of 2006. For those of you who don't know, um, summer camps are very, mm. very popular. What happens is, in fact... Oh, in, don't remind me. <laughs> oh. 
in this case, it was mainly uh, children from Hong Kong. Okay. okay. And also mainland rich, rich kids. What they do is during the summer holiday, obviously the parents want a break. So what they do is they send them off to these summer camps. And it's basically just an intensive learning thing where they go. And this particular summer camp was all about teaching them computers and robotics and things like that, but also English and all that kind of thing. And they hired a bunch of foreigners. I was fresh off the boat mm -hmm. and I'd just gotten past. I was actually just past where I was homeless. And I'd gotten this job basically through people that I knew. And uh, you go out there and you spend pretty much a month. This was like a month long just looking after the kids. So you have to have all these activities and play with them and mm -hmm. help them with things and do classes with them. And it's like nonstop from morning till night. And it's sure. it's pretty intense. And it was on the university in uh, university grounds in Guangzhou, uh, the finance university or something. And we got to stay in like these kind of dorms that they have set up for teachers there. It's kind of like a mini hotel. Uh, and that's what we would do. And you just wake up in the morning and you have to get all the kids and take them to the, you know, um, cafeteria. You know, the, you know the deal. Anyway, during this whole process, I noticed one of the girls, and she's probably 12 years old, wearing a T-shirt. And I was like, what the hell does that say? And I took a photo. It says, Devil Tigress, Hunter of Sex. And you see, like, all around the little border, it says, Hunter of Sex, Hunter of Sex, with exclamation marks. On this little 12-year-old girl, I'm like, yeah, I don't think that's something that you... Uh, but I used to, you know, whenever kids used to have these t-shirts, I would talk to, if I saw their parents, I would tell them, be like, listen, this is not very good. You know? sure. It's like, no, I don't care, but like, maybe you can be a little more careful. Yeah. <laughs> I like this. <laughs> just, <so>. Yeah. <laughs> 13. So, yeah, nice. it says, says 13, but it actually has For all the number 12. people listening yeah, out there, yeah. we're not, yeah. Mm, yeah. Okay, now this is something, again, I bought, mm. I bought a set of tools because, you know, I'm, uh, one of my hobbies is electronics. Sure. I like tinkering and uh, I'm not very good at it, but... Uh, you know, you've got access to all the best kit in Shenzhen, cheap stuff, yeah. good, so like cheap soldering irons and yeah. all the kind of stuff you need to do electronics. And you get a little set of those screwdrivers, all the mini heads and yeah. stuff. And I bought this. And then when I got home, I looked at the label and it says weak. The brand is weak, like as in <laughs> W-E-A-K, weak. And it says weak professional electronic <laughs> tools. It's like, that's not what you want your brand. You know what I mean? Yeah. If you, it's just they're trying to. They actually try to translate the actual alliteration there. Yeah. Because it's like the first, or something. Or it that. says no. Ke is the second character. The okay. first one's such a mess. Mm. But it's like ke, like weak ke. You know what I mean? But weak uh, is shu raw. Yeah, like like, it's, way, like it's, way ke. Yeah. 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 Anyway, it's lame. I don't know if they saw like tough tools or something and thought like, well, yeah. let's let's, let's copy weak. that, but you know, be, we'll be the opposite. But I just thought that was hilarious because whenever I needed to work it's, on something, it's I'd, actually not wrong. I'd pull out my weak. Yeah, but yeah, it's not no. wrong. Yeah, they were pretty, All those tools pretty are weak. Awful. It was really weak. They they did break. Um, <laughs> <laughs> two different people, by the way, that I filmed uh, or took photos of. The second guy, I ran after him because he walked past while I was having a drink, you know, at like sure. a little thing. I was like, dude, I got to take a photo of your t-shirt in Chinese. He's like, okay, and he smiled. You can see there. But, he's a good sport. Yeah, he is a f good sport. The the guy on the left, though, I still don't really understand. I guess I just don't want to know what his music collection's all about. Yeah, yeah. Because it basically says F in useless music. Yeah. And then the other guy's T-shirt just says F off. Right. I mean, he couldn't speak any English. I'm pretty sure you'd know what that means, though. He probably would. Probably, but yeah. He anyway. probably loved it. Probably. I mean, think about it. Like, you can say, if you say swear words in a different language, it doesn't mean that much. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, so that's, that's the true. same for them. It's like... You'll hear kids running around saying the F word all the time. Yeah. <laughs> this might be my second favorite one. That's that's a good one. And, that's a good uh, one. I was, Smile if you're gay. Again, I was walking to work with my, my friend. Um, and uh, I, I saw this woman in front of us with this T-shirt. And it's got some very small text on it. So you have to get kind of close to read it. Yeah. And when I saw it, I just nudged my friend and said, look there. And he, he just packed out laughing. So right. it's like, it says, smile if you're gay That's in very small like yeah. letters. That's and a good one. You can't help but smile if you see that because it's so absurd. It's I, funny. I wanted to, somebody threw a, threw a uh, message here in the chat. They yeah. said, if you think weak is a bad brand name, imagine if your name was Microsoft. <laughs> <laughs> so that's pretty, yeah that's, that's, that's true. pretty good that's a good point oh you know what's even funnier what in south africa there's a company that sell, sold hardware they called themselves micro hard did they really yeah uh, but it's still small yeah <laughs> i would call it like massive hard or something yeah exactly so, by the way there's a ripoff microsoft brand in china called michaelsoft yeah michaelsoft yeah, yeah i remember that uh, this is actually a weather lady yeah this is in china mm -hmm. um the weather lady in china soft tv yeah 
And uh, it looks to be like her shirt is a very rip-off version of Tigger. Yeah. And it says effing above it for all the people listening out there. Now, she was on TV wearing this shirt. My biggest thing is maybe you don't understand the word. Yeah. In this case, probably not, right? Yeah. This pretty young lady, she's on TV. My biggest problem with this is why this shirt? You're a weather woman on TV. You're not going to wear like such a scummy looking crap shirt. Right. That's like right. a five R&B shirt. Yeah. That, it, well, you don't wear that on TV as a meteorologist. No, no standards, I guess, on this. It's probably a small regional TV sure. station. I, I mean, think it's hilarious. But You've seen that uniforms and stuff don't actually matter. Yeah. If you've yeah. ever seen like the security guards all getting together yeah. for their drills, they look so shabby. Right. You know, they've got yeah. like shirts hanging out. Yeah. They're all dirty it's and never over, been washed. They're always and, oversized surplus. Yeah, exactly. It's just nonsense. The only time you see anyone taking care of the uniforms and stuff is when it's for like the, the national parade or something. You're going to be, yeah. you know, like part of a big thing. Stuff. Yeah. But yeah, mm. so she passed the vibe check. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I don't know these. This is Flower Aroma Tour. I found you at last. The world which it sounds like it listens and the melody to add warmth gradually is innocent. So this is, and this guy's shirt says, the pig is full of many, many cats. That's now, interesting. Now, the thing, what happens, the one on the left is actually in Japan. You can see it's what happens. Yen, yen, yeah, what happens is, in these scenarios, is you'll get people that just want English words on a shirt. Right. It doesn't have to mean or say anything interesting. Yeah, it's just kind of different and cool. Yeah, it's just kind of exotic. Yeah, yeah anyway, okay. That was fun. So what is new? Um, well, you have media there, don't you? Well... <laughs> No, those are all our funnies, aren't they? I guess we can move into. Oh, you missed. You missed. Oh, I missed one. You missed Sorry. one. But... Okay, let's get back. Okay, to we'll it. do one more. We'll do. We'll one do more. one more. This one says Casio. I love cash, alcohol, sound, intellectuals, omelet. Omelet. Okay. <laughs> up, up until omelet, I was that could have been a proper legitimate yeah. T-shirt, which is yeah. kind of interesting. I mean, omelets but, are good. Yeah. Okay. And this IE um, says chocolate, French fries, hot dog, ice cream, pizza, milkshake. Mil- milkshake. Milkshake, yeah. Milkshake. MLK. Shay. Yeah, <laughs> milkshake. Martin Luther King, King Shay. Yeah, exactly. It's Saturday night, almost midnight. You drift off to sleep and someone starts a jackhammer outside your window. <laughs> Are you sure you know what I hear? Suffer this yeah. again. I hear this every freaking week. Mm-hmm. I've had it. Oi! You did our studio, ma. <laughs> Siri, set a timer for 10 minutes. Okay. Yeah, that showed yeah, them, but like, like, you got 10 oh, minutes. Please! Between. A big jar, and I just went out and like filled their shoes up with this stuff. Plain as day manner in front of me, and she says, I thought foreigners were supposed to be handsome. Then I punched him, and then I, sure. then I told him, you're not gonna show up around here again. I'm pretty sh- it's like, but what are you doing?